The broadcasting bill, if passed into law, among others, seeks to arrest the failing standards in Ghana's electronic media space and ensure it embraces modern best practices. The bill, which was drafted as far back as 2012 and presented to Parliament in 2015, remains and passed. This failure of Parliament to have the bill passed has enabled unwholesome content and fake news to flood Ghana's media space, a situation that has become a bane to government. In a bid to curb this worrying trend, the Ministry of Information on Friday organized a consultative meeting with stakeholders to find solutions. Speaking at the event, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Godfred Yebuadame, criticized Parliament for failing to pass legislation that would sanitize the media domain. There is an absence of a specific legislation which gives expression to the reasonable limitations that ought to be imposed in accordance with public order, public morality, and the potential rights and limitations of others. And I think that this absence of course, it's not only in the area of the media. Parliament has even failed to act, especially in areas relating to um, the Article 181 obligation. There's an obligation on the part of Parliament to enact laws that will regulate the Article 181 obligation of, of the state. That has not been done. So clearly, it is the nature of the part of Parliament that is responsible for where we are. But it is not too late in the day at all. Minister of Communications Esla Owusu Ekufu said it was critical that the broadcasting bill be passed as soon as possible. We need to think through, look at best practices from around the world and see how we can sanitize this space so that what we read on new and social media we can accept as largely credible. If the proliferation of fake news undermines the integrity of the work that you do, you will be the losers because it will only breed skepticism and cynicism about the content of the media, uh, the information that is published out there. And ultimately, it will affect your output. So let's all work together to see how we can use the current tools that are at our disposal. And there's something in the Electronic Communications Act which makes it possible for us to pull down content that is false, misleading, or criminal broadcast on electronic platforms. It's there. We've never used it. Minister of Information Kojo Ponkuma also agreed that it was time to take action to sanitize and regulate the media space. And more importantly, to ensure that the emerging threats to media practice in Ghana are kept. One such threat is the sharp rise of content described as unwholesome or inappropriate by various segments of the Ghanaian society that are popping up on our broadcasting platforms. These include, but are not limited to, the constant portrayal of money doubling on our television, the regular seeming promotion of social vices and even sometimes criminal activity, including ritual murders, pornography, and advertising of unapproved products on our broadcasting platforms. If there has ever been the need to take up this challenge, the time is now. The last time the National Media Commission attempted to enact a legislative instrument to address these emerging challenges, the LI was shot down as unconstitutional by the Supreme Court, and perhaps rightly so. But within the current body of laws, among regulators, we believe there's room to find common ground to deal with some of these emerging challenges, even as we prepare to properly legislate in the area of broadcasting. Meanwhile, Chairman of the National Media Commission, Yao Boidu Ayebuafo, touched on some of the challenges the Commission has had with enforcement. Over some of these matters, it turned out that some of the people who are doing some of these things are not even members of the GIBA. And so dealing with GIBA was not a solution. And so we wrote to some of the owners of some of these stations, telling them, that, look, these are the sentiments of the people of this country, and therefore, it is better that since you have set out to work in the interest of the people of Ghana, and if people have reservations about what you are doing, then it's better that you listen to them and factor their concerns into the things that we are doing. The reality, though, that came to our knowledge is that for some of those stations, these are their only means of survival. And so, 
if they stop, it means that the stations will collapse. And so in the absence of any rule that, that can compel them to do that, they will tell you they will not do it. The next day, they are doing it. So you bemoan the situation. But what then can you do beyond that? The other thing also about us is this, that we as a people, and I personally as a person, I have had the privilege of representing the Ghana Journalist Association on both the Coalition on the Right to Information and the Broadcasting Bill. At a certain point, I think that our minds were so focused on the right to information that we forgot about the Broadcasting Bill. 